Now I'm going to explain a little bit like the use uh, between all of these font styles and how they are applied for the blocks. So you can see actually whenever you are like changing something, where is it expected to be um, changed or how they are like combining between each other. In this case, uh, I have like certain combinations of like how they actually uh, behave between each other. This is our overline, which I was mentioning before. It's uh, about normally our titles and it has a certain size that will always go okay with any scale of our title that we have and any type of title it can be one, two, three or four. So we have in this case all the, all the, all the scales for our title one and um, we have here our overline one as well. Uh, this one that we have here is our subtitle one and again it's just to show like the type of combination that is doing with all the um, the titles in all its scales and here we just have our uh, primary call to action here we have the um, overline as well as it goes above a uh, title is in this case is it overline two we have paragraph in here where we can find combinations like this, which is a subtitle plus a description. And we have overline two with uh, title three. And uh, then we have like subtitle one. So it's basically like the numbers can be just like a reference of which is the font style that you're having, but doesn't uh, really limits you on like the amount of combinations that you can do between all of them. In this case, we have here paragraph, quote, and paragraph again. And here in this section, we just have the same structure, but just like showcasing another type of titles. Here we have the title three, the title four, title three again, and here we have title, title two. Uh, we have as well overlines, and as you can see, even though they look different between each other, the structure keeps being the same is overline title subtitle and that's why you will have a wide range of uh, possibilities and combinations uh, just knowing exactly how you can just use them and uh, knowing that whenever you will be switching the styles they will be always be uh, looking good or having the right sizes and uh, just making them like very consistent across your site uh, here is the same the same structure just with different look again because it has a different one applied here it has our title one small uh, subtitle two description and again title two plus our paragraph and quotes in in action with some of the blogs the um, system it just follows the, whatever the nomenclature and the style is connected to so we have overline, title, subtitle, paragraph, and the same goes with here. Whenever they are like more complicated layouts, we just see that whatever it works in our scales, they will just be assigned to that. As well, for all the places where you find titles, it's easier to understand where you can just apply later on. Um, the heading one or heading two, depending on what do you need for your page uh, inside of the of, of flex, and it will just be simpler to understand what is your main your main word inside of the inside of the blog or inside of your page. Here in this one we have subtitle two. Here we have title three small and secondary call to action, as I was mentioning. It can be either you use it uh, the primary one for the buttons and whenever it's going to be a standalone it can be the secondary call to action and the same repeats in here and just for you to see how actually the combinations are thought through and how you also can start making your own uh, blocks uh, following the, the system have everything consistent and just uh, uh, having everything directly from the global settings without having to tweak all the time directly in every flex flex block in this case for example when we have this type of block you can already see inside of it which is the 
style that it has applied and you can just easily change it to any other one and the, the styles already are here with the font so you can see which is the the font that you are applying as well